he then came into my room and he said, so, you've got a boyfriend? Am I? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> actually used my dad's phone to message someone that I was chatting to via the internet and we were sending messages backwards and forwards. They became quite romantic, let's say, and eventually I handed the phone back to my dad and I thought that when you took the SIM card out of the phone that all of the messages went with it, but actually that isn't what happened. So I came downstairs and I saw my dad basically pressing down on his phone and he just looked really serious and really quite upset. Uh, it wasn't until about the next day, he then came into my room and he said, so, you've got a boyfriend? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> I said, no, I don't. Um, definitely not. That's not a thing. And I kind of hid it. I was still almost too ashamed to actually speak about that experience. And it wasn't until a good few years later that I then felt more confident to actually sit him down and say, look, I was talking to a guy. I wasn't sure about what I wanted and what my sexuality was, but I was exploring. But now I'm 100%. I can say I'm gay. The response later was actually really positive. So my parents are now like my biggest fans ever and they just love what I'm doing and they love my sexuality. I wish I had known that I needed my support networks in place before doing so. I think it's very important to make sure that you do have some people there who you can kind of confide in. Maybe you just don't need to come out now. Maybe it is just a case of just keeping it to yourself for now, finding a support network, finding a youth group, and you need to make sure that it's right for you and the time is right for you as well. So just kind of add up everything in your life and just evaluate is it the right time to do this do i have enough support to do this and then if it is then great do it if not then just wait but just make sure you're safe and you're supported